Pick a Fence is a, a ladies' boutique in Dutch Chocolate County Meath, and uh, Maria Kelly is the owner of the boutique. Uh, she's also a, a fashion stylist, and uh, she does personal shopping, so amongst a whole array of um, services that she offers. But anyways, what happened that day was, you I suppose you get up in the morning, you have your shower, and you get ready, and you have to look as best you can. Um, and, and that I did, I hope. Um, and then from that, myself and uh, the cameraman, uh, Derek Kyo, we went out and we went into Maria, met with her. Um, I suppose maybe I'll just track back a little that I did meet Maria for a coffee a day or two before that with regards to areas I was going to touch on and was there anything that she had wanted to showcase for her business. Um, but thankfully I had everything covered for that meeting. So um, we went into the boutique and we had a look around. We decided where we'd shoot from, what Derek did. We decided where we'd shoot from um, and then the interview started. Um, so for that day, which was unusual, uh, was first thing for me was that I wasn't actually on the camera. I was at the side of the camera asking the questions and Maria was answering the questions. So, um, and then later on I stood in situ and asked the questions again just to myself. And then that was cut together as, you know, this is how the interview happened. And um, we also did some pieces whereby we went around and we looked at some of the dresses. So it covered myself and Maria looking at the dresses in the shop. Um, and while that was overwritten by the, uh, me interviewing Maria, um, it also showcased um, some of the ancillary items that she sells, like jewellery, um, shoes, um, candles. There's a wide variety of products that you can get in the shop. And um, we also discussed what it was like when she set up her business back in... It was 2006, so she set it up in the recession, and I wondered why, so I asked her that question as to why she did that, and it was actually, you know, it was something that she always wanted to pursue, was a, pursue was a career in fashion, and uh, off she went and did it, and she's a successful business to date, she also does a slot on TV3 Weekly, with um, and the afternoon show, um, showcasing um, dresses from her shop, and also some of the other boutiques in Dunshotland, so, you know, they work very well together. Um, and um, we touched base on you know how she got into fashion because she was a nurse before that so I asked her about that so it covered the whole path from I suppose leaving school you know from the west of Ireland coming to you know Dublin and going abroad coming back setting up um, in a boutique and how the business is and how the business is for her going forward so they've celebrated their one year anniversary in Dunshockland and uh, they're doing very well and um, so that was the interview ended and uh, we parted and then in the background then the piece was edited and then it will now be released very soon. And um, It was absolute, absolutely fantastic and it was one of my first programmes to present. So it's very memorable to me and I'm looking forward to seeing it out there on television. Um, I was actually surprised it took us an hour and a half to shoot it in the boutique in Dutch Auckland and it's actually going to be six minutes of television. So it's amazing the amount of time it takes to um, shoot something and then the output is six minutes. But um, it's actually fantastic and the content is right on the